Hello, this is Walter Jackson. I'm here to show you a parabola designer that I've created using Microsoft Excel. This application will help you design a parabola that you can use for solar cooking or solar grilling or perhaps even heating water. There are several controls on this form and I don't want it to be too confusing for you, but it gives you a lot of value for what you uh, have before you. Essentially, you can select a focal length for your parabola by using this list box. So you can see that as I increase or decrease the focal length that I'm selecting, the shape of the parabola actually changes to accommodate that particular focal length. Remember the concept of a parabola is such that where a sun ray comes down and strikes any point on the surface, that surface is curved in such a way that that ray will be reflected directly onto the focal point. And that way you can reflect uh, and you can concentrate all of the light from the surface of that parabola onto the focal point. So again, you use this list box to change the focal length and that's going to be important depending on the shape of your actual parabola, which is going to be determined by really the size of the parabola that you want to use. Now the larger the parabola, of course, the more light that you're gathering and the more heat that you're going to generate. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now you can also use a list box over here to uh, design your parabola's width. Do we want it to be three feet wide as here we're showing 36 inches or do we want it to be more like four feet wide there's 48 inches and you can see as I change this slider box then the width of the parabola is changing to show you what the resulting shape of the parabola will be like. The design that I like the best is a 60 inch or five foot wide trough which, uh, which is indicated by 60 inches here. Now the focal length I like a little bit higher and I'm going to bump this up to 30 inches and there it is. So you can see what a parabola would look like 60 inches wide with a focal length of 30 inches. Now across the x-axis you can see that I've got the inches marked off 30 inches on either side of the origin and on the y-axis I'm taking the uh, dimensions up to 40 inches. So this is not exactly to scale, but essentially you have the ability to chart out a parabola with dimensions up to 40 inches high by 60 inches wide. So any shape that you pick, uh, you can just run it just like that. Now you can see the again the x-axis coordinates down here. Above the function of the parabola, you can see the y-axis uh, coordinates. So this will allow you to map out on a piece of graph paper the actual parabola design so that you can then transfer that to a piece of wood and then cut it if you're going to use wood or metal or whatever your medium is going to be. At any rate, you'll be able to build the uh, parabola physically from the design that you use on this spreadsheet. Now if you want to print out a, a chart of the X and Y coordinates, you can press this Show Table button and this will take you to a grid based on different focal lengths that will show you from, from uh, 2 inches to 60 inches wide exactly what all the y-axis coordinates would be. And then by pressing the print preview button here you can print out this table. This is a little message box that tells you it's going to print in two pages horizontally. And here we go with the print preview. There's the first page and there's the second page. I'm not going to print it right now so I'll just close that and then we'll go back to the chart view. Now, when you bend a, a, a metal surface or whatever the surface is, you note that it goes from being a straight line to a curved line, and the curved line is always a little bit longer. So here we have a 60 inch wide parabola, but when we bend it like that, you can see that the arc length is going to increase as we bend it more, and it will decrease as we bend it less. The importance of having this arc length is so that for the people who are going and building trough parabolas for solar cookers or solar grills or whatever know how long a piece of material they need to buy so they don't waste any trips or, or waste any material. So with a focal length of 30 inches a 60 inch wide parabola is going to require a piece of reflective surface that's 62.4 inches long and that's what this is about. To see how I arrive at that length based on the parabola, 
you can press this button and what you'll see is a little bit of simple calculus that says that what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that arc, that parabolic arc, up into several segments. In this case I split it up 200 ways and I calculate the hypotenuse of each segment which means that I just break it down into smaller smaller segments and compute the length of each one, add them up, and that's going to give me the length of the parabola. So there's a formula in case you're interested. I'll go back to the chart view by pressing the show chart button. Now again you can use either a round or a trough parabola. Uh, you can design either using this worksheet. If you select round then what's going to happen is you're going to assume that what you're going to do is take this parabolic shape and rotate it around the z-axis to come up with a shallow dish shape which is going to be a round parabola that resembles a television satellite antenna. Now when you do that, when you select round, you know what the uh, width of the parabola is, then we're going to take half of that width, which is going to be the radius, multiply it by, well, square it, and then multiply it by 2 pi, and that's going to give us a radius in square meters. <clears throat> in other words, that's going to give us a parabola that's 1.82 square meters in surface area. <clears throat> It's important to know the surface area of the parabola that you're going to build because there's such a thing as a solar constant which tells you relatively <clears throat> how much sunlight you can collect for a given surface area. By knowing that solar constant you can figure out how many watts your parabola is going to generate. So <clears throat> effectively if we have a solar constant of 1000 watts per square meter and we have a parabola that's 1.82 square meters in surface area, then that parabola is going to generate 1,824 watts. <clears throat> and this is going to go a long way in helping you to figure out what kind of dimensions you need in a parabola to cook food or to heat water or what you, whatever you want to do with it. Now again, if you select a trough parabola, you're going to take this parabolic shape, you're going to extend it so far, like for example uh, 48 inches, so if you can imagine this is a cross section of a trough which is 60 inches wide, it's 48 inches long. That's going to give you 1.85 square meters or at a 1000 watt per square meter solar constant generate 1858 watts. So if we cut this down and we said we only want it to be 24 inches wide then you'll understand that you're only going to generate 929 watts which still isn't terribly shabby. <coughs> For an explanation of the concept of the solar constant, press on this button and you can see some text that I've downloaded from Wikipedia that talks about the solar constant. If you'd like to see it, you can actually click on this link and it will bring you to Wikipedia explaining the concept of the sunlight, the energy produced. Uh, talks about calculating the sunlight that actually strikes your surface and then it talks about the computation of the solar constant. Now there are different variable, uh, varying values of a solar constant. Actually the one that I see used most often is around 1300, 1400 watts per square meter. So using 13, 1400 watts per square meter we can actually go back to <coughs> the application and then bump this number up to uh, 1300. So let's see see if we can do if we can do that okay we'll go the other direction uh, this direction to come up with an easier way of uh, moving this value. Okay. 1240, 1250, 1260, 70. Okay, 1300 watts per square meter is going to generate uh, 1142 watts in a parabolic trough that's 60 inches wide by 24 inches long. And if we bump this up to 48 inches, we see that we're going to generate 2285 watts. Uh, one more thing, uh, you can click on the About button if you've got questions. You can hit this. It'll generate an email to me, and so you can ask me questions about it. Uh, and that's about all I've got to show you. 
So enjoy the Parabola Designer and let me know what you think about that. Thank you very much.